What is up, YouTube? Fluttershot RLC back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team game. We're here on the road in Atlanta. I've got the Giants jerseys, and look at Jamal Charles, man, on the kickoff, man. We got 89 Jamal Charles still on our team returning kicks. Uh, fortunately, he runs out of stamina from all the jukes and spin moves he was doing, so he gets tackled from behind at the 49-yard line. Of course, we got 24-hour football outsiders, Jamal Charles. Uh, so we have both Jamal Charles, which is a little bit confusing at times, but uh, still it's kind of funny. So we got both of them, and I'm using the Saints playbook this game, and I wanted to see how those counters would work with a faster uh running back so I did that here in this game and also you know what? we should name our team to like the murder team because like every single player on my team has like ridiculous hit power like I mean I I'm pretty sure that Ronnie Lott's hit power could literally kill someone like if you put like Darian Sproles up against Ronnie Lott with that 107 hit power and then say you add the coach that gives you plus three hit powers we throw a dumb pick there I don't know how I didn't see D'Angelo Hall there kind of you know he he was camping man he was camping Unfortunately, I didn't have any C4 to blow him up, but he was camping me, and uh, I threw the pick there, so that's definitely not good. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, um, Ronnie Lyle with his 105 hit power, plus the two he gets from Deion Buchanan, plus the three he gets from that uh, from that coach that I, 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 I wasn't using in this game, but I still have him. He has 110 hit power, which I kind of don't believe in. I think that the plus 100, I think that the stats over 100 are all BS in my opinion. But uh, but I'm pretty sure that with 110 hit power, I'm pretty sure Ronnie Lott could murder someone. I'm not quite sure, but I think, and look at that, D'Angelo Hall gets a fumble. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, my God. Go figure, man. There's like, like, someone count that for me. How many, how many of my players were around that ball, like four or five, and how many were, and how many of his were around the ball, like two, and he still comes out with the, with, with the ball, and that, um, that like, toss player, you know, end around player, whatever, just burned me there. So he gets a touchdown. So he's already up. Now I'm kind of panicking because I'm like, okay, well, he gets the ball at half, and, uh, you know, I'm, I am i don't know what I'm doing on offense. B is wide open, and what the hell? He's not even usering these guys. These guys are just jumping right in front of the freaking ball. I mean, I'm like, how, how come my players don't do that? I have a bunch of, like, 99s and 97s and stuff on my team and they don't do stuff like that dude it's ridiculous and so again man we're laying him out and we're uh forcing him to drop the ball and he does get hurt but i don't know i don't know if i quite believe in the plus 100 stats because i just you know i don't know i think it's just to kind of like sell cards or whatever i th you know so i don't really believe in that 105 hit power that much i don't really think it makes that much of a difference i mean i don't know i haven't seen it make much of a difference true uh, he has uh, strong safety, not free safety. Maybe if he was at, uh, or no, he has that free safety, not strong safety. Maybe if he was at strong safety, him being down there in the box, it would make more of a difference. But Deion Buchanan drops to like like an 88 overall if you put him at uh, free safety, and Ronnie Lott still a 99 at free uh, free safety, and so. That's just what I decided to do. Anyway, so he's up 14 to nothing here in going into halftime, pretty much. So this is not the situation we want to be in. Luckily, Larry Fitzgerald catches that pass, gonna get us down about the seven yard line. And damn it, this is not how I envisioned this game going, man. We're not in a good way right now. But RG3 gonna take it up there for the touchdown himself. So now we gotta get a stop, man. We gotta come back out on offense. We gotta try to score before half, man. You know, if if we can go into half tied, then I think we have a good chance. To to win this game but again you know we just gotta come out here we gotta play some defense he hasn't really had like a lot like he's had a short field pretty much the entire game you know um you know he got those two picks uh i believe they were well the one was kind of like half field the other was really short field we get the nice sack there with von mill now i have jared allen at my d tackle he doesn't do anything man he, i mean i mean i don't know like he might be a good player i, I don't know as we get the nice pick with antoine Bethay. i was using that the whole way with ronnie laws so i either way i was getting a pick there but um i have jared allen at the at my defense at my second defense tackle man he he hasn't done this i don't even think he's made one tackle i i seriously i don't even think he's been in on one play so far in the games that I've played with him, I don't know what it is. I mean, he's I mean he's got like 105 power move I think, but his block shed's like a 92. Like that's pretty it's pretty bad. So I definitely don't think. I mean I I don't know. Maybe it's just how I'm using him. I don't know. But the dude has not made plays. I mean he's still a pretty good card. He's just the other cards that came out are like 10 times better. <laughs> um, anyways, so we do go into halftime with a tie, which is good because now all we got to do is make a stop out on defense, get on offense, score, take the lead. So we were down 14 to nothing, and now 
all of a sudden, winning this game is now again in the picture. But again, we just got to come in here. We got to play some defense. We got to try to get some hit sticks on him. And that's what I'm trying to do. Even with D'Angelo Hall, like, D'Angelo Hall forces more fumbles than Dion Buchanan and Ronnie Lott because that makes total sense, right, EA? You know, I mean, you know. Dude's got 105 hit power, and then he's got 107 hit power because I have Dion Buchanan on the field. And D'Angelo Hall forces more fumbles than Ronnie Lott. Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't really believe in the stats that are over 100. So, so he completes the pass there. Uh, he's mo he's moving on the field just torturing us, man. Just I don't know what it is. And so we get the nice suction tackle. I don't believe suction tackles are going to be in Madden 16, which I'm very glad about. I I hate suction tackles with a passion. Um, it's my usering was just god awful there. Like don't don't rewatch that. Just I sh I'm going to edit that play out cuz it was so horrible. <laughs> Not really. Um so we're again putting now a bad spot again late here in the third. We're down a touchdown. Uh, again, main f focus right now is tying the game. You know, uh, just tie the game, and then we'll worry about the rest after that. But you know, I think when you play, uh, even any sports, even in real life, you know, if if you're in a, you know, say you're losing the game, just focus on scoring. Okay, you know, just. Do, just focus on one thing at a time. Don't think too far ahead of yourself because then that's when, you know, you start to overthink and you start to, you know, try to do too much. You know, you try to play hero. Just do what you got to do. Do what you need to do. And, uh, you know, I think that that's kind of the key, you know, to making a comeback is just just do what you got to do. You know, just take it one step at a time. So um, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here, just trying to focus on scoring. And then, you know, I'll, I'll worry about it. And wow, 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 wow. RG3, he throws it behind Benjamin just enough for him to intercept that. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about, man. Just, I mean, I mean. How does that happen to me? Like, to, I mean, come on. Like, that, that just, how does that happen? He throws it behind Kelvin Benjamin perfectly for him to intercept it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this, this is not our game to win. There's just no way. So now he's moving down the field. Man, we're getting hit sticks, but not forcing any fumbles. That's why I don't, I don't believe in that 100 hit, 105 hit power bullshit. Uh, so he's going to score there again on, like, the on like the outside run which just ate me up this game so uh, now he's up by two touchdowns late in the game i need a miracle at this point in order to win and so far the ea cheese is not on my side it is completely on his side not making excuses but i mean let's be real i mean that i mean he did not get that pick and that was not my fault like i you know i didn't expect rg3 to throw it behind benjamin just perfectly for him to intercept that pass like there's no way you could have predicted him it him throwing it behind him just perfectly like that so now we're looking to sc oh my god you can't be serious I got hit as I threw, and it falls right into Vince Wilfork. Vince Wilfork just got a pick. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, that's going to be game, guys. We don't pull off a win. Uh, you know, um, I try to be real with you guys, you know, uh, and I post, and I try to post my losses, you know. Um, well, not try. I, you know, I do post my losses, you know. I'm not going to sit here and post all the games that I win and, you know, act like I'm the best damn player in the game because I'm not. So I try to keep it real with you guys. And this game, we just, we just couldn't pull it off, man. I mean, you know, just, I mean, what else, can, what else can you do, you know, when, when, when your quarterback's throwing it behind your receiver perfectly for him to intercept it, and then, you know, Vince Wilfork's getting interceptions like this, just, you just can't, you just can't play for that, man, you just, you just don't know, and then here's the play where he threw it, but he look, look, just look, look, he threw it perfectly behind Benjamin for him to intercept that. Unbelievable. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this Madden 15 Ultimate Team game. Um, if you blew your hand off trying to impress your friends, light and fireworks, uh, tell me below how that went. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Have a great day.